Today we're going to do avulsion on this toe. Uh, she got an ingrown nail. It's not infected right now, but it's quite deep as you can see. This one we just did uh, last week, right? Elena, you feel yes. good with this one? No, yes. No problem? Okay, it's she's been soaking and so, so it looks great. Uh, no more pain here. So now we're going to do this one. This is already numbed. So I'm going to put a little, what we call a tourniquet, which is a little device that uh, makes sure it, uh, we don't have a lot of blood uh, so I can see what I'm doing. So I exsanguinate the blood a little bit. Put it like that. So now we're ready for action. First, I'm going to free up the nail on the top a little bit. I have to make it look nice, so I don't want to do too much. But I want to do it up to here where it kind of bends down. That's how far we need to do without uh, taking too much, which is going to make the nail look kind of not so pretty and which is not good. Especially when we have a pretty patient, we want to make sure that the toenail matches the uh, their look. So I am freeing that up. As you can see, there, there are a lot of callus underneath it, so it's kind of hard to free it up. So I have to do it very carefully and methodically so that I'm not hurting the nail bed, which is right underneath this area. As you can see, it's really deep on this corner. So I'm getting down. As you can see, I'm kind of difficult to free in that area up a little bit. As you can see, a lot of callus tissue underneath it. So I'm just freeing that up a little bit more. Wow, this is really deep in there. I finally got it. So we free up underneath that. And on top, we have really good all the way to the bottom. This was really deep. I know it's not infected, but some of these nails are really deep and we don't want to leave anything behind. So we have to free up really well, which is what I just did. Now, I'm going to use a little nail clipper now to clip the nail right here and then go straight down. We want to make this very straight so then. It looks good. Go all the way down to the base of the nail. We have to make sure that we get all the nails in the back, as you can see. And then now we get a little, we call it a hemostat. So take this nail and then all the way down. And then we flip it over like that. And then the whole nail comes out, as you can see. We see a little bit of uh, skin left behind, which we can take this off. This is very important to take the skin off too, because uh, we want to uh, make sure this area is open to drain because after we remove the nail, it's going to drain out and we want to make sure that this area is nicely freed up, as you can see. So as you can see, this whole area is very clean. I just make sure again that um, this is all freed up and nothing is left behind, which I just verified. Nothing's behind, so it looks very good. I put a little bit of antibiotic cream on it, and then I bandage that up. Uh, so I put that a little bit right now, and I'm going to put a little band-aid that's non-sticky band-aid. So I'm going to take this tourniquet off. There's some bleeding coming as soon as I do that, as you can see. And then we put this bandage over that area. And then it gets a little bloody for about a few hours, so we make sure that we put a nice bandage on it, so it's not going to bleed too much. The patient doesn't uh, get this wet until tomorrow morning. She's going to start soaking it twice a day in Epsom salt, uh, which is uh, antibacterial, antiseptic, so that it will uh, not cause any kind of problem. So that's what we do here. Put a little bit more bandaging on the big toe area. And then, and then we make sure that everything looks good. So then, when people ask who did this thing, they, she says Dr. Kim did it, and I look good, she looks good, and then we're back in business.